We're here in Portland today at this wonderful property near the Northgate Shopping Center, and we're here with Mike and Beth from Remax Heritage. They're going to be showing us this wonderful property and also giving us some tips and hints about how buyers should evaluate location when they're looking for a house. As we all know, location is really, really important, and as we've talked before in this market, we're looking at price, we're looking at condition, and as always, we're looking at location. Well, we've caught up with Mike and Beth at this very, very appealing house. Nice to see you, Beth. Hi, Randall. Hello, Michael. Hey, Randall. Welcome back. Nice to see you. This is really, really a nice place. We look forward to hearing a little bit more about it and also asking for you folks for some tips that people who are searching for a house can use when they're evaluating location. Tell us about this property. Thank you, Randall. This property is located in a, a, a little development called Cottage Park. It's an established neighborhood. The homes have been here for several years. All the houses, as you'll see, are shingle style with nice architectural design. Um, they are pretty compact. The lots are small, so there's not a great deal of care and maintenance that needs to take place on the yard. The neighborhood itself, there are about 20 houses in the neighborhood. And from what I understand from these owners, it's a very lively and friendly place to live. Good, tell us a little bit more, Mike. Well, starting on the porch, you know, a lot of houses have a great front porch and no one uses it. The neighborhood setting is perfect for this porch to just sit here and enjoy the neighborhood and you can hear how quiet it is. But when you get inside, it also has what buyers are looking for today, is a more updated and uh, specific kind of layout where it's open. You know, it's three bedrooms, two and a half baths, which is ob obviously what people are looking for, but it also has that open concept. So it, as you'll see as we go through the house, you know, it's very open, it's very bright, lots of windows, yet still has the amenities that you need with a finished basement. Great, so the floor plan really kind of flows through the house nicely. Exactly. Well, that's great. And can you tell us a little bit about what should a homeowner do when he or she is evaluating the location of a property? Are there some good ideas that you can share with us? Absolutely, Randall. Driving around the neighborhood and seeing what the other homes are like is an important thing for the homeowner or the potential homeowner to do. And in that process, sometimes they might come across a neighbor that's walking on the street. I encourage them to roll down the window and say, tell me about your neighborhood. You know, they obviously will know why you're there. We always encourage our buyers to drive through neighborhoods that they're examining you know, at different times of the day so that they can see what kind of activity there is around the neighborhood and whether it fits with their lifestyle. Um, as Mike mentioned, talk to neighbors, even sometimes if it means going and knocking on a neighbor's door. Well, that's great. Well, that was really good information. This is a very appealing property, and I think Beth and Mike have shared some really good suggestions in terms of how people can look for property and evaluate the location. Simon says, Remax Heritage, they are the ones.